Hello to everybody who's already here for today's webinar on accounting integrations within your Halaxy. It's fantastic to see uh, all of us here already. Hi, Holly. Hi, Mike. Uh, May, sorry. Um, we've. Oh, that's fantastic. You're already saying hello. Please, um, by all means, um, let everyone know who you are and uh, where you're currently hailing from and uh, what profession you're in as well. It would be nice to see uh, what type of mix of professions we have here today. Um, today will be a fun one. We're going to be talking about all things accounting. So whether you're a practice manager, practitioner, administrator or bookkeeper or accountant, hopefully there'll be something of value for you um, in terms of understanding and getting to a better grips with um, managing your invoices and payments and expenses within your Halaxy account. Um, hi, Jeanette. Hi, Martin. Hi, Eddie. Mandy, fantastic. From New Zealand. Martin for, hailing from London. Jeanette, you're from Sydney. Bookkeeper, fantastic. Mandy, um, you're a bookkeeper as well. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Hi, Leanne. Uh, coming from Geelong right now. Uh, Ling, fantastic to see you as well. Hi, Pete. Hi, Jason. Um, we have a nice mix today of uh, different professions, but also from um, a number of different locations and different countries, which is fantastic. Um, what we'll do is while we wait, um, and we'll probably get started in a couple of minutes here, I'll activate a poll. This is going to be one poll today. And essentially, it's gauging um, whether you've used uh, an accounting package or sorry, accounting software with your Halaxy before. So I'll publish that now, and you should be able to see in your poll section um, there on your screen, there should be a poll section that you can um, actually provide a response whether you've ever integrated with um, QuickBooks, Zero, or Reckon um, before, whether you've tried to and um, haven't necessarily gone through with it fully either. Um, already seeing some results come through. So it looks like the majority of us haven't used any accounting software with Halaxy before. Um, it's hovering around 65 to 70%. And then we have a handful, um, a, a couple who have, but not at the moment, but then also probably a larger group at around 25 to 30% who uh, do currently integrate uh, their accounting software with Halaxy. So that's a great mix. Um, and I'll publish that poll uh, in a minute. So we can all see the results as well. Hi, Holly. Um, hi, Rebecca. And uh, hi, Jason. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we've got a whole mix. So um, you can see a, a few psychologists here. We've got uh, a few uh, uh, a few GPs. Um, fantastic. Uh, a couple of bookkeepers as well. Um, occupational therapists. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Hi, Mary. You've integrated with QuickBooks with Halaxy but don't know how to use them. Well, hopefully um, this will help uh, a little bit as well. Um, all right. So uh, if you're having any problems with the connection uh, during today's webinar, you can just click the reconnect button um, on your screen and it will reconnect the webinar for you with a fresh connection there. So that's an option as well. If you have trouble hearing um, anything or seeing anything, you can always reconnect with the webinar. We're also providing this webinar as a replay after, so you'll receive an email with a link to the replay and then you can access it afterwards as well. Um, so let's get started in terms of what we're going to be discussing today. So welcome, first of all, to another Halaxy webinar series. This one is on accounting integrations with your Halaxy accounts. Um, and today we'll be covering a few things. First of all, how do you actually sync Halaxy invoices and expenses with Zero, QuickBooks or Reckon? We'll have an emphasis on Zero today only for the sake of providing a clear example, um, but the method and the, the flow in terms of the way that things are added and the way that integration is done is relatively the same. Um, where there are differences, I'll be pointing you towards um, our help guide, which also has a number of different photos, a number of different steps there. Um, so hopefully everything's clear as well. We also provide 18-hour um, support Monday to Friday, and that's live support both by email and phone. So we're always on hand uh, to help you when needed as well. We'll talk about customising your synced accounts. So 
what we mean by that is you, with Halaxy, we provide a lot of opportunity where you can customize and have the flexibility to run and track your practice the way you prefer. So there's very few things limiting you in terms of if you have a number of different bank accounts or a number of different accounts you like to track um, different types of payments, payment methods through and that type of thing, um, you can do that in your Halaxy account. You can sync those paid invoices um, correctly with your accounting package as well. Hopefully that'll be a little bit clearer when I show you the screen and I walk through and we walk through those steps. Uh, thirdly, we'll talk a little bit about reconciling syncing transactions, identifying errors and tracking success. So what we mean by that as well is the ability to add, manually add different invoices or expenses where needed so you can make sure that you've reconciled between your accounting software um, and also Alexi's accounts that we display as well under the financial reporting functions. And finally, that leads on really nicely into running syncing reports. So in terms of uh, today, a bit of housekeeping, and we're already doing it fantastically at the moment. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask the question in the Q&A window. Uh, just in the bottom, it should be on most people's screens on the bottom right of screen. You'll see there's a chat mode, but there's also, if you click that icon there, you can actually change that into a Q&A. So you can change it to a question. That will really help us um, as a team to be able to answer your question. So today it's not just me uh, presenting. Um, my, name, my name is Michael, uh, by the way. So it's not just me presenting. We actually have a number of us um, here in the team who are on hand, ready to answer your questions. So here we have Kira, Gary, Isabella and Key as well. Um, so if you have any questions, please make sure that you identify that it's a question by marking it as um, a Q&A question just in, when you go to ask that question in the chat. So I can see a couple of questions are coming through in the chat mode, but it will just help us um, work through um, the questions and the comments uh, different ways. So that's the, the housekeeping. Um, in terms of who we have here currently, um, let's see. So Harbands, I can see that you're about to start an online business. Uh, you're a social worker and coach. Um, was thinking of going with Halaxy in relation to payments from international clients. That's something you could do. Um, absolutely, that's something we're actually bringing in um, relatively shortly as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if there's any other questions that are coming through, um, hi, Tanya. Um, I can see you're there as well. And we can, you've asked a question about MYOB. Um, the short answer is no, not at the moment, but we do offer integrations with Zero, QuickBooks and Reckon. So it's um, fairly comprehensive in terms of the types of accounting packages you can integrate with your Halaxy account. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So I'm gonna share my screen um, with you right now, and we're gonna dive into um, this Halaxy account. So it's all dummy data, there's no real information there, but um, it's what we need to use to be able to demonstrate how to actually integrate with, uh, within this case, an accounting package, uh, which will be uh, zero, for example, say. So I'm just gonna turn the screen share off, uh, just gonna open up the relevant window. And it'd be fantastic if you can see that screen, if you can just let me know. So if you just let me know through the chat, um, whether everybody can see the screen. It doesn't have to be entirely uh, clear. It's okay if it's a little bit blurry. Um, that's all right because I'll be talking through each step as we go um, and hopefully relatively clearly. Fantastic. Let's, thanks, Karen. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks, Joe. Um, and before we start, um, what we're going to do is we're going to end the poll and we'll see what all the answers, uh, what everyone responded at, uh, with. So you can see here, if you click the poll section, you can see that around 70% of us haven't ever, have never used integrations before, accounting integrations with Halaxy, and around 25% um, are currently using them. So we've just had a new feature that's come out this afternoon as well in, re in regards to, um, to actually tracking your, uh, your syncing as well. So I'll be talking through that uh, towards the end of our presentation. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Jade and Alf. Um, Appreciate everybody for letting me know that you can see the screen. All right, so let's get started. So in terms of, uh, let's say, what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna start with an account that hasn't been connected 
uh, hasn't been integrated with an accounting package before. So how do we know that it hasn't been integrated with an accounting package? Well, we can navigate to our settings section. We can click payments. So we go to settings in the menu section and we click payments. So we go settings, click payments, and then we see our familiar payment screen. Now our payment screen covers a number of things, including uh, automating email responses when invoices are paid for, uh, automating uh, scheduled rebate processing if, um, if Australians are uh, using Medicare, um, also scheduled payment processing as well, just for general uh, credit card payments. Um, but if we scroll down the screen, which I'm doing now, so we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you, sh you should see there's an accounting package now, or an accounting section, I should say. So we'll see there's an accounting section at the bottom left of screen. Um, and Sylvia, if you're having any problems with the connection, please try and click reconnect um, at the top as well. Apologies for that. Uh, we can't control the, the internet connection, unfortunately. Um, so if we have a look here, we can see there's the accounting link uh, just down the bottom. So I'm going to click add new because we're looking to add an accounting package. Now, before I click add new, what I'll actually explain is why we're doing this. So Halaxy provides a number of ways where you can track your payments um, and track your invoices just within Halaxy. So you don't actually need to use an accounting package um, necessarily. However, there are a lot of cases where you can get a lot of flexibility out of integrating with an accounting package. And that's, that's what we offer. Um, that's why we offer this, these integrations as well here. So by adding an accounting package, what we're doing or adding an integration is we're actually telling Halaxy to send the payment information, the invoice information and your expense information across to your accounting package where you can then track it. It can then be um, adapted to make sure that it fits in with the requirements and the formatting of what you need in the location that you're in. So to do so, we click add new and remember, just recall on this page, we are under settings payments. So naturally, because it's to do with payments, we're on the payments page. So let's click add new here under the accounting section. And now everybody should see there's a screen that will pop up and it has it's titled accounting software. So we can see at the top here, title says accounting software. Fantastic, Felicity. Um, great to see that reopened and it's not dropping out anymore. Okay, so this is the box and this is the screen where you can actually directly integrate with your accounting package. Now, um, Halaxy offers three options. Um, in terms of integrating with an accounting software, with accounting software. Uh, one is zero, which we'll be referring to heavily today. The other one is Reckon One. And finally, QuickBooks. Now, as you can see, the steps through from here or at this point are the same. Um, they're generally pretty similar. Where there are differences, um, what I recommend is actually checking our help guide. Um, and I'll exit out of this box just for a second to show you where you can find our help guide. So I've exited out, scrolling up to the screen. In the top right, you can see there's a light blue question mark. This is the area where if you click that, you can navigate to our help guide. And if you type in, um, for example, reckon, uh, reckon sinking, so I reckon one sinking, you'll be able to find the help guide there for that. Same with QuickBooks and the same with zero. So I've just clicked the accounting add new section again. Um, and a reminder, if you have any questions, just make sure you select the question option in the chat mode and you can ask away and uh, our team will be happy to answer. So when we open up this option here, um, you're actually presented with a number of ways that you can set up your accounting software integration. The first thing you might be drawn, your eyes might be drawn uh, drawn to are the options for the accounting packages. Now, um, you'll likely be clear as to which accounting software you're integrating with. So um, I won't talk about that too much. Essentially, integrate with the software you're using or you'd like to use. But up the top, you'll see there's also this level section and group is selected by default. It's generally recommended um, 
by us because that means that your invoices and your expenses are being synced in total um, and it's clearer to manage, particularly when you're starting off uh, with your Helixy account. You do also have two other options here. One is clinic and the, the second option is individual. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means you can actually set up and I'll click clinic here. So I click clinic. You can actually set up your accounting integrations to suit or match a certain clinic that you may have. Um, let's say if you have a number of locations, three locations, you could have a different um, accounting integration per location. Or you could also set it up so um, it's set up for an individual and a particular individual. So their accounts and only their accounts, so their invoices and their expenses are synced with their particular accounting package. Now, this can really help in circumstances where you're contracting um, with other practitioners within your practice. Um, and that's particularly where it's found to be most useful. You also have the option where you can narrow in even further by selecting selected clinics, so individual as a level, but then selected clinics, and you can actually set up an accounting link for a particular practitioner at a particular location. And there's nothing stopping you from setting up multiple links as well. Today, we'll focus on group, group level here, because one, that's the simplest, but also it's the one that tends to be used the most. Um, but as you gain experience with using the Halixy um, accounting sync with these accounting packages, and as your practices grow, just know that Halixy is there and ready for you to assist you in growing um, as much as you need uh, when you need it. So we've selected group, that was the default selection, and now we're going to connect with one of these three packages. Each package, when we click it here, each link, these are buttons, uh, will take you to a screen, to a third party screen, which is their own websites, where you can log in to your either Zero, Reckon One, or QuickBooks accounts. Now that's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory um, in that sense. Then from there, some of the steps do change. Um, zero particularly is quite straight, is very straightforward. Uh, Reckon has a few things you'll want to check within the help guide that I mentioned earlier, which you can find on the top right of screen. Um, and QuickBooks as well is fairly straightforward too. But I'll click connect to zero for the example for today. So I'm selecting connect to zero here. And now what we'll see is we're taken to uh, zero's page. And because we are already logged in, it's immediately taken us to the page where we can select where are we linking um, our Halixy account with. And in this, on this page here, um, I can now click allow access. So I'm going to select allow access and we're now linking immediately and we can see taking you back to Halixy. We have now linked, if I scroll down, so we're still on the payments page, I'll scroll down. Immediately, we have actually linked under the accounting section in payments at the group level, our practice with our zero accounting software, which we can see here. Um, and we've had another number of questions um, come through. So let's have a look. Uh, Linda, you've asked, can you change from group to individual after integration? Well, what we'll talk about today is actually um, removing the, the sync and then resyncing. So you can absolutely do that. You can change at a later date. Um, just bearing in mind that the information from Halixy is pushed from Halixy to your accounting software. So it's an important note to make because when you change details in your accounting software, it won't be reflected in your Halixy account. And we'll talk more about that in terms of manual syncing um, towards the end of this webinar when you would like to reconcile certain things when you've changed, uh, when changes have been made in your accounting software. Um, but just bear that in mind. Um, and as long as you're aware of it, there, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Um, and Joe, you've asked, will you send us a list of relevant links on the support page after the session? Well, um, I'll tell you what, even uh, right now, we'll provide you with links um, within this webinar too. So um, we'll provide a response to your question there where we have some links um, from the help guide. And Mary, you've asked, so group is if there is more than one practitioner working together. That's a really good clarifying question. Group just means anyone and everyone within your practice, anyone and any practitioner within your practice. So if there's one practitioner, that's still group level. 
Um, if there's five practitioners, it still comes under the group as a whole. I recommend keeping it as group if you're a sole practitioner. It's no point adding it as an individual um, because that can lead to unnecessary steps and um, more complication of what's actually needed at that point in time. Um, hopefully we're getting through some of the questions here as well. I'm just having another scan to make sure we've answered as much as we can. Um, so if I, so Joy, you've asked if I don't have zero, but my accountant uses it, can I integrate to his account? You can integrate to any zero account you like, provided you have the correct logging details. So it may be that your accountant actually asks you to establish um, a new zero account that then your accountant has access to. So that's also an alternative there. And Joe, um, you can see from Kira's responses as well that we have um, a link for you that leads you onto other links about Halixy's uh, integrations um, from that point. So everybody, it, it is as, as straightforward as syncing as what I just explained or demonstrated. Um, but also, like a lot of times in Halixy, the level of customization is up to you. So what do I mean by that, you might ask? Well, let's have a look. So we're still in the accounting section on the payments page. And if we look to the right of this row here where we can see we are now currently linked to our accounting software, in this case, it's zero. If we look to the right, we actually have an edit icon. Let's give that a click. So we can click the pencil icon, the edit icon. And by selecting that, we now see this rather at first, it may seem complicated screen appears, uh, but we're here and I'm here to talk you through what each section means. So we can see at the top, this is our Zero and Halaxy connection. Um, now, if we look down, we can see there's a section titled Revenue Chart of Accounts. There's another one, Invoice Payments Chart of Accounts. Another section has Expense Chart of Accounts. And finally, Expense Payments Chart of Accounts. And what you can see at the, above each of those titles is the option where you can actually decide whether you want those accounts uh, synced from your Halaxy into your accounting software. So here you can deselect sync payments, you can select it. The same for expense chart of accounts here, you can choose to sync or not. And here the same thing goes. So naturally, when we're actually looking at this here, um, you have complete customization, complete flexibility to decide what you want synced with your Halaxy account. And Joy, thank you for asking that question. Um, what information is integrated and can you protect client personal information? Absolutely, you can, um, can protect client personal information. The option to do so is found here. So we have an option in Halaxy that we provide where you can hide patient names. So you can, and as you can see by default, that's selected um, as a tick. But for whatever reason, if you weren't hiding your patient names with integration, you can deselect that option there. Uh, but hopefully that helps clarify uh, that particular question as well. What I'll draw attention to um, in addition is just to the right of hide patient names, you can also select to only sync invoices that have a payment. So this means that instead of uh, whenever you create any, when any when, sorry, whenever an invoice is generated, um, it being synced as a draft because it's unpaid, you can then you can actually select that only the invoices that have a payment on them um, are synced with your accounting software. Um, just looking through some more questions here. Uh, Jennifer, you asked, can you just keep it to Halaxy and not sync? Absolutely. Uh, you don't have to sync with any accounting integration or accounting software if you don't want to. Halaxy provides a number of uh, financial reporting features. And for the most part and for most practitioners and practices, um, they come in handy and they're helpful uh, without needing to go any further with an accounting package. However, particularly for um, practitioners who are in larger practices or operate with more complex um, accounting needs, uh, the accounting software packages are here. Um, but also if you're, if you're comfortable with running, say, zero, um, the integration is here. And it works, uh, it works smoothly, so there's no issue with, uh, with syncing that either. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to connect. 
Um, and Leanne, you asked if the hide patient names is not ticked, where do the patient names appear? Um, so they, depending on your, it will depend on your accounting software as to where they actually um, contain that information. But say for zero, it may be under the client section um, as well. So if we now uh, have a look at what we can do in terms of uh, these drop down menus, I'll talk through that a little bit. So you have control as to, what, so what happens is when you connect your accounting package, um, Halixy has a number of default uh, information streams, let's call them, so transaction streams, that it's looking to send to your accounting package. So we can see here, uh, Halixy has a default revenue, so it's the revenue, total revenue, and it wants to send it to zero. Um, Halixy also identifies payments, wants to send it to zero. Same thing goes for expenses uh, just here, wanting to send it to zero and the same for actual um, payments of expenses as well, which is here. Now, you have complete freedom to choose which account within your accounting package you would like to send that information to. So in this case, uh, our zero account, our example zero account has um, an account titled training slash education. And we're saying send all of the revenue um, inf information to the training slash education section. Uh, under payments, we're actually saying, well, let's send it to our invoice payments uh, area of zero. And for our expenses, send it to the cost of goods sold payment section. And for default payments here, we're also requesting that's sent to our invoice Payments, and that's default payments for, um, say, credit card processing and fees that are associated uh, with that. Now, if you um, are running um, a software integration, a, a, an accounting integration or accounting package where you have more complex needs in terms of wanting to track the types of payments into certain accounts, well, you can do that simply with Halixy just by clicking the add new option under the relevant area. For example, I'll cover payments here for invoices. So whenever it, so I'll click add new, let's say we want to add a payment. We want to make sure that payments when they're made by cash attract in a different account. Um, we can say the test business bank account. We want whenever invoices are listed as cash, um, as Mark has paid cash on our Halaxy invoice, um, that that payment is actually sent, the record of that payment is sent to test business bank account. Now you can click as many and add as many of these uh, different types of payment methods as you like. Um, let's say we want direct deposits to then go into uh, the sales account. So I'll select that there. And you can keep selecting um, as many payment methods as you'd like and directing to each one to go into certain areas. Um, of your accounting software. Uh, Peter, thank you for your question there. Will the date field determine the date from which transactions are synced? That's a very important question, very important point. Uh, yes, you're right. So you can adjust the date here to determine when you'd like your records to be sent from. Um, and that's the record when they are transferred over. So if, in this instance, if we had invoices um, prior to the 10th of August, 2020, they wouldn't be synced because they're before the 10th of August, but from the 10th of August onwards, uh, all of our invoices are sent through. Now, in terms of the timing for how quickly does zero update um, with or any accounting software update with the information, um, you can be confident knowing that when you've created your invoice, as the invoice is created from say creating an appointment and it's generated and then it's paid for, um, that your uh, accounting software is updated uh, fairly regularly. It's updated daily, but also um, the time lag between being created in Helixy and updated within your accounting software can can differ, um, but usually it's within a few minutes. So within a few minutes, you should see the information reflected um, within the screen. So um, Peter, hopefully that's helped answer that question. And thank you. That's a brilliant question as well. There's been some really good questions coming through and keep them coming because uh, any way you can clarify um, is something we want to do. So 
This section here is essentially uh, where you can customize your integration. Now, if you want to know more and get into the nitty gritty and the details of, well, what does one section mean over another uh, that I haven't covered um, so much here, by all means, I'll just click cancel. I'll get out of that because we've already set it up. But you can click, you click submit to save. But if I scroll up, navigate to our help guide just here in the top right and just type in um, accounting integrations and then you'll find our help guide with a number of different um, screenshots and walkthroughs as well. Now, um, I did mention that uh, we'd talk about uh, manually syncing invoices um, and I think now it's probably a good time to, uh, to talk through that. So let's have a look here. Let's have a look at our, actually, before we do that, what I want to show you is actually um, looking at the syncing record for different invoices. So I'm going to navigate to finances in the menu screen and select invoices. So I'm just doing that now. So we've navigated to the invoice screen under finances. And uh, let's, let's have a look. This is a Test account, and as you can see, uh, once you've enabled your zero connection, you can actually, so you'll see there's a zero option that appears above uh, both your invoices and your expenses. So this is an invoice. I'll just quickly show you what an expense looks like. Finances, expenses in the menu, so finances, expenses. And let's have a look here. And we can see there's also the zero option that's appearing above your expense as well. So let's navigate back to invoices. I'm going to navigate to um, just a random uh, invoice, dummy invoice here, and we're going to click zero. And as we can see, um, because there were zero connections prior to uh, this demonstration today, we can actually see the record of the syncs. So if you're wondering whether your invoice or your expense has actually been synced across to your uh, accounting software, you can check this page here and you can check it by navigating to the relevant invoice or expense, in this case invoice, and clicking the accounting um, option that will appear depending on your integration. We integrated with zero, so the zero option appears. Click that and then you can see the history of uh, the syncs that have taken place. Okay, so now in terms of uh, the next question that people sometimes have is, well, that's fantastic that I can see the information that's syncing from Halixy into my accounting software. But what happens if I'm looking to reconcile something or I'm looking to add an invoice in my accounting software or an expense um, and sync that back into Halixy? Now, that can be a bit of a challenge, um, but what you can do is you can manually add an invoice or an expense um, within your accounting software and actually then connect that up with an invoice that you've, or an expense that you've generated in your Halixy account. Now to do so, I'll demonstrate that uh, very quickly. So what we'll do is I'll just change the screen for a second and I'll take us to uh, the Zero dashboard. Now this will look similar, uh, it'll look slightly different for different accounting packages, but it gives you the idea of what you can achieve. So let's have a look, um, one moment, fantastic. So now everybody should be able to see um, the zero default screen here and we're in the invoices section. Now, we're looking to reconcile um, one of our, uh, we're looking to reconcile our account and we're saying actually we, we need to add another invoice but we're adding it, we're deciding to add it into the row first. So I'm clicking new invoice here um, so we've created a new, we're creating a new invoice. Now, in terms of the patient, I'm going to add it to uh, this hidden ID, patient uh, 100012 AU, and we're going to say, well, the item is item 11, description is a private fee, quantity is one, unit price is $140 in our case here, but any amount, um, and it's going to go to the account training and education screen. So I'm going to click save. And now after clicking save, 
we've now generated uh, this particular invoice. So let's view the invoice. And what you can't see in the screen um, right now because the address bar at the top is actually cut off is there is an ID that's in the URL. So in your browser window where you type in www.halaxy.com, um, there is a URL there that's now currently listed. And I'm just gonna copy the section after the ID. Um, this will become clearer once we go back into Halaxy, which I'm going to do now. Um, and also we have screenshots of copying the relevant section from the URL within our help guide as well which again is identified is at the top right of screen uh, here. So if you click that, you can then find out how to manually sync an invoice or an expense. Now, I've copied the ID that was appearing in the end of the URL, much like how when you're on an invoice here, there's an ID number on your invoice, but also in the, in the browser window, in the URL at the top, the address bar, same thing, you'll also see that same number reflected. And that's essentially, I've copied an equivalent but for, in this case, zero. Same thing works for Reckon and the same thing works for QuickBooks. So let's actually go to now manually link a new invoice. So I'm gonna create a new invoice here. Let's say test, patient, submit. And we've now created a blank invoice. And if I click the zero option at the top right of this blank invoice in Galaxy, we can now see, we actually don't see a syncing record because this invoice was just created. It hasn't been synced with our, um, our zero account as yet, but we wanna add the sync. So we can do that by adding the sync ID. Now, now you can see the ID that I copied from the URL. So this is directly from the browser window in the URL in that previous page, and I'm clicking save. Now, this invoice has been synced or is synced with our zero account. So we'd want to add the same fees here as well um, to reflect what's going on in our zero account because naturally this is one way. If we make changes here, then that's reflected in uh, within zero. Um, I don't want to overcomplicate this section. You can absolutely manage all of your finances in, um, in Halaxy and across your accounting software without needing to know how to manually sync um, at least to get started and as you go along, but just know that where there are needs to, where you do require uh, reconciliations or um, some adjustments to be made, you do have the flexibility to ultimately do that um, within your accounting software and Halaxy as well. So, uh, and Ling, you've asked hi, hi there, but which account should it be a bank account that receives the payments, you determine that when you set it up in your accounting software. So that's where I'm, I'm not gonna get too much into detail um, about setting it up in your accounting software, but just know that you can, um, and that you've got the confidence when you use Halaxy that it's gonna support your practice and your practice as it grows and changes and develops with time. Um, so uh, Izzy, you've asked, is there, any, is there some troubleshooting available for sync issues, or could you maybe go through some common problems with syncing today? Hopefully I'm covering um, at least the steps to rectify syncing issues and identify where things haven't synced. Um, so you've got a bit of a toolkit there. Um, but also what we'll do is, uh, actually I think now is probably a good time, we can talk through running syncing reports. And we've added a, uh, extra functionality to our syncing reports, which will help you um, resolve some of those, um, some issues that may occur where you have differences um, if changes have been made uh, in your accounting software that naturally doesn't get reflected within your Halaxy account. So let's talk through that. So if we can navigate now to reports, so left of screen reports and select finance. So in the menu section, go to reports and then select finance. And from here, let's run a new report. We're gonna run a new report here. The report that we're going to select in our case is zero syncing, but again, if you're synced with Record One or QuickBooks, you'll see those options appear here as well. So I'm going to select zero syncing and click run. And now what we can see, and bear in mind that uh, we had zero connections uh, previously as well, um, prior to this webinar, so you'll see extra information here. Um, but essentially what you can see here is all of the, 
the invoices that have been synced over time um, within your Halaxy account to your accounting software. And you can see there's quite a number of, um, of invoices here that have synced over time because it's every invoice. But also you can see your expenses have been synced as well. So there's two sections. One is all of your invoices and the relevant um, fee information, uh, the relevant invoice number, the relevant payment information, the dates, um, all of that information is sent to your accounting software. And in addition, your expenses are also synced as well. So expenses mean things like uh, the if you've transacted if you've processed a payment using Halixy's payment facility, so if you've accepted a credit card payment through Halixy and we've helped you process that, um, there's the credit card processing charge um, and other general expenses as well across your practice. Um, this one's a bit out there, as you can see. Uh, we're saying, well, the pay is pet barn and the equipment was dog food in this case. So anytime that you've listed an expense, it's uh, linked and then synced with your accounting software. Now. This report has always existed, but the edition that's just come out, so you're the first to hear about it right now, um, is actually the ability to select all of your invoices and actually resync them um, in bulk, or you can select, you can resync them by selecting the options just like this and then resyncing them. Um, now, where this can be helpful is if you have a link, uh, if you have a, a list of number of invoices that you need to be up have updated, um, then you can do so. And um, Rosie, I can see you've asked uh, Halixy to stop making changes prior to financial year. Um, th there's no changes in terms of the way that this affects your zero sinking. Um, this is actually an option that has always been there. We've just brought it um, one screen forward so you can see uh, you can actually action it without needing to click another button beforehand. So nothing's changed um, in terms of the syncing for you there, but thank you for that point. Um, so in, in terms of uh, the way that Halaxy processes uh, your invoices and your expenses and how regularly that happens, because I think a question came up just earlier about that, asking, well, how regular is it? Um, Halaxy will, will sync as soon as it can, and usually that's a couple of minutes um, between different uh, when an invoice is created. So you should see that's reflected within your Zero or your Reckon or your QuickBooks account um, pretty soon after um, you've actually created it. And then from there, um, you can manage your accounting. Um, thanks, Harban, uh, Harbans. I appreciate, we appreciate your time uh, and all the best. Um, so from there, uh, you can actually track all of your invoices and your expenses um, as they are created within your practice. Now, we've covered uh, the bulk of today in terms of what we um, were looking to inform everybody with. Um, what I'll do is I'll open it up more to the floor here. If we've got further questions that haven't been um, answered or you've got some questions you'd like um, or questions or demonstrations you'd like done, um, we can do so as well for the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm just going to have a look through, I'm just scrolling through some questions here just to see if we've got any common ones that are coming up um, and if we can assist with taking, uh, giving it, providing a walkthrough or providing extra clarification. Um, so let's have a look. So if you've got any more questions, please feel free to send through. But in terms of the, um, the bulk of our webinar today and the walkthrough, um, this, this is it in terms of um, talking through uh, each of the steps here. What I'll do actually, I might I might speak through um, discussing Reckon, for example, and um, some of the differences in terms of Reckon as compared to uh, Zero, and what that means for you um, when you're actually connecting to Reckon as an integration package. So Reckon, just like Zero, you can uh, actually connect to by clicking Settings, you navigate down to Payments, so Settings in the menu bar, then Payments. And we scroll down and you can click add new and select reckon as the alternative. Um, and then from clicking there, uh, I won't take you through the next steps from that point at the moment, but um, once you do click through the reckon option, um, what's worth knowing is that, so reckon, um, so in terms of the way that Halaxy's invoices are processed, if you're transacting credit card payments through Halaxy, 
Um, well, then there's an auto payments fee that's applied. And that's usually a percentage plus amount. Um, and that amount can either be, you have the choice, and I'll close out of this and just demonstrate it here by clicking the edit button in our zero um, integration. You have the choice whether you'd like to sync Halaxy auto payment charges as an expense or not. So as you can see here, um, syncing auto payments, as we can see here, you just hover over the like question mark, um, charges an expense will sync the full payment amount to zero along with an expense. Otherwise, the payment will be synced minus the charges. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that you can either make sure that the full amount for your invoice is synced and then an expense is reflected in your expense accounts, or you can just sync, so you can deselect it, and just sync the total amount that you took in minus the expenses. So the expenses aren't matched within your um, zero integration there. So um, the difference for Reckon is that Reckon um, forces you to sync auto payments processing fees as an expense. So whereas, as I just demonstrated, zero, depending on whether you have uh, the sync auto payments as an expense option ticked, you'll sync processing fee as an expense or a negative invoice line. So it's just helpful to know there's slight differences there, but the rules all detailed within our help guide as well. Um, and we've just had a question come through. So let's have a look. Joy, no problem. Thank you for that. Um, Holly, you've asked, uh, as soon as you create an invoice for someone, say six months from now, it will sync that invoice into QuickBooks. Um, Holly, as Kira has just responded to, um, you, you have an option. So you can actually select to only sync paid invoices. And that means once, as soon as you mark that invoice as paid, it will sync, um, then it will sync with your, uh, with your QuickBooks account. Um, however, if you haven't selected um, sync only paid invoices, then it will sync it as a draft invoice. So that's where you have the absolute flexibility. That's a really good question. It's something that does trip um, some practitioners up um, because they haven't selected the right option at the start and then you end up tangled up trying to uh, work out well what invoices are paid for and what aren't. Um, but it will update as well uh, once it is paid. But yeah, so if you're just looking for paid invoices to be um, to be pro to be trans uh, transferred across into your accounting software, just make sure you've selected that option, and that option appears uh, again under settings payments. We're on the payments page. We scroll down to the accounting section here. We click edit, and once it loads, you select only sync invoices with a payment. So this section here only sync invoices with a payment. And that means if you create an invoice for an appointment or a consultation from six months from now, it won't be synced until it's marked as paid, provided that you've selected only sync invoices with a payment just here. So Holly, hopefully uh, that answers your question. Thank you for that one. Uh, Mary, you've asked, what's the advantage of syncing with accounting software versus staying with Halaxy? Really, it's up to your personal circumstances um, is the simple or the quick answer, and that's dependent on a number of things. So some of those factors may be, if you're a practice um, and you have a number of, apologies, um, it just cut out. Uh, if, you're, if you're in a practice and you have a number of different practitioners and they have different uh, let, let's say you're contracting those practitioners within your practice, um, but payments and invoices, they're actually uh, responsible for their own um, financial, um, they're, only, they're responsible for their own invoicing, their own expense management, essentially financial management. Um, then it makes sense to uh, potentially integrate and send them, if they have their own zero account, for example, you can actually directly integrate their finances um, with their zero account. So it can simplify um, some administration for you. Now, you can always run reports in Halaxy, financial reports up here. If you go to reports and click finances, and you can actually narrow uh, most reports, if not all, down to the practitioner level anyway. So I've just generated a new financial report here, and you could run, say, an income report, and you can select a practitioner to filter by, and we can click run. And that then creates the report just for that uh, 
practitioner. So a lot of what you can do in your accounting packages, accounting integrations, you can do in Helixy. So have complete confidence with that. Um, however, if um, particularly where there's an advantage is if you're looking to um, employ or have a bookkeeper uh, view your finances and review your your finances within your practice, but you don't want them to um, have any access to your clinical information or any possibility and um, you just want them to look at your finances. They don't need to be going into your Halixy account. That's where an accounting software integration can be really handy because you've created a strong distinction between your practice management, which is Halixy, um, and your financial uh, management, which is your accounting software. So, Mary, hopefully that's helped colour things a little bit there. Um, but absolutely, there's. Um, I would say that's probably the biggest advantage is that you can um, you can hopefully have a, a bookkeeper or an accountant that can review your information within their accounting software, and it's accounting software they're used to, as opposed to needing to learn uh, Helixy's uh, accounting software. Um, in terms of running reports and things like that. No problem. Thanks for that. Um, and Peter, I see that you've asked a question. Um, so can Halixy do a report on payment processing fees to make it easy to add it as an expense in the accounting software? Um, so Peter, as Gary's just responded to, you can run an auto payments report um, in your Halixy and that gives you uh, full coverage as to the payment processing fees uh, within Halixy. And then you can also sync that um, that can also be synced automatically with your accounting software because it's listed um, as an expense in Halixy automatically. So we've had some great questions come through here. Uh, let's have a look. So Ashley, you've asked, can I use group setting to allocate payments to individual practitioners in the chart of accounts? Um, the best thing to do in that instance would be, in my view, you either create, so it depends on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to um, actually send payments, so have payments sent automatically to individual practitioners, well, that's a different area um, altogether in terms of it's not linking or syncing with your accounting software, it's um, actually allocating uh, where the payments are sent to, so where deposits are sent to on your payments page. And you can absolutely have payments sent to individual practitioners for their particular consultations. Um, I recommend you review payment processing in the help guide up here for that um, that topic um, or review a previous webinar as well. Um, but in terms of actually allocating the payments, which is what you asked, um, to individual practitioners, the way to do that is if we scroll down, you click add new, you select individual, this is under the accounting section, select individual and select the practitioner um, and connect them to their to a zero account, to the relevant zero account there. That's probably the best way of, uh, of doing so. Um, so hopefully I've clarified that somewhat, but what I recommend doing is having a read of our materials as well. Um, the reason being is that there is a little bit of nitty gritty sometimes when you're going into that type of detail. Um, Mary, thank you for that, appreciate your time. Um, and everybody, if you have any further questions as well, uh, we're available right now uh, by email and phone. Um, and we're available over the next seven hours by email and phone as well. So you can contact us as you need, um, but also Monday to Friday, 18 hours a day. Um, so we should be able to um, provide you with an answer for your particular circumstance. Or if you have any questions, you'd like, general questions, you'd just like further clarification on, um, by all means, please check the help guide. I cannot recommend that highly enough, particularly for this subject. It's really helpful. Um, it's really helpful to see the walkthrough guides, but then also feel free to contact us by email at communityhalaxy.com or give us a, a phone call as well. And you can call our support line by going to halaxy.com and looking at the relevant phone number for the country that you're in. Um, and Jennifer, you've asked that you might need a webinar on financial management with Halaxy and no sync. Uh, we do have a webinar that's uh, been produced on that. Um, so what you can do is you can search the Halaxy blog for webinars and you'll see there's a finances uh, webinar there as well. And we'll start providing um, more information about previous webinars going forwards 
over the next couple of weeks. They'll be easier to navigate, easier to find and more regular as well. So if you can't find them just yet, just have the confidence that that's coming through. Um, fantastic. So everybody, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's very kind of you. And uh, we appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days to learn more about how you can get the most out of your Halixy accounts. And if you have any recommendations about these webinars, or if you'd like to know more, please feel free to contact us uh, by email at community at halixy.com or give us a call and we'll be able to uh, help you further there. Um, and we can see, uh, Jennifer, as you can see, uh, we've just popped up the link um, to the webinars, the previous webinars we've had. Um, and you can actually um, have a look at those. You can sign up for one of those and they are run just like these webinars. So you can see the questions as they come through um, and it's run just like this webinar here. Thanks, Izzy, appreciate your time. Thanks, Leanne. Um, so everybody, we'll end the webinar there. Um, hopefully it's been helpful um, and thank you for your time. All the best.